because of some technical problem uh, we again begin our visuals so now acceleration due to gravity at height that is acceleration due to gravity that is denoted by g and height here is h is the height used as a subscript if you see the figure here capital m that is mass of heavenly body r is the radius of heavenly body here for the earth we are showing here an object of mass small m is placed at a height h from the surface of the earth but distance is measured from the center so its distance is will be r plus h so as there are two objects again we are using the formula f equals to g m m by d square and if replacing the value we will get g m m by r plus h whole square here also a small m and a small m will cancel each other <coughs> so g h will be g m by r plus h whole square this is the derivation or formula used to calculate the acceleration due to gravity at height h now factors on which acceleration due to gravity depends here if you see g h equals to g m by r plus h whole square so here are the mainly three factors mass of heavenly body capital m radius of heavenly body capital r and height from the surface of the heavenly body acceleration due to gravity at depth that is again g d if you see the figure in the figure a b c are the three points a at the point the point at the surface b below the surface c center of the earth r is the radius of the earth and uh, the formula for calculating acceleration due to gravity at depth is this we we'll learn about this in 11 if we join science stream okay now let's go for verification let's see this point let's assume this point b is at a means we are on the surface at this condition d will be zero so d by r that will be j sorry d by r will be zero so one minus zero that will result one and the g d equals to g if we move the point b to c then r and d will be equal so d by r equals to one and one minus one zero and result will be g d equals to zero any point between the surface and center of the earth value of d is smaller than r and in that condition if we cal do simple calculation we will get gd less than g mass and weight this is a device used to measure mass you all are well know so mass is the amount of matter present in the body it is a scalar quantity it depends upon number of atoms and mass of each atoms so larger the size of the body more atoms more atom means more mass not only that equal vol volume of two objects may have different masses because of mass of each atom and the number of atom present in them will be different it is a constant physical quantity its si unit is kg and cgs unit is gram it is measured by physical balance pan balance beam balance the force of gravity on both the pans in a physical balance are equal means how, how much force is applied in the left side pan that much force is gravity applied on right side pan and the force of gravity on both the pan is equal and cancel each other so it measures the mass this is spring balance obviously you know that this is used to measure weight it is acted by gravity so the force of gravity influence on in an object is called its weight it is a vector quantity okay uh, it is variable quantity because weight equals to m into g and g changes from place to place and that's why weight will change but it is 
direct directed towards the center of the heavenly body because acceleration due to gravity acts towards the center of the heavenly body now free fall so the fall of an object free fall clear from the word falling freely the fall of an object in the absence of any reactional force that is called free fall the acceleration of free falling object is equal to the value of acceleration due to gravity of the place because no reactional force act on the body on the surface of the earth our earth is surrounded by thick layer of atmosphere so true free fall is not possible uh, means air resistance acts on the object but it will be possible on the moon because of the absence of air resistance when a feather and a coin are dropped simultaneously on the moon they reach to the surface at the same time The astronauts in the spacecraft are in the condition of free fall during revolution of Earth. Weightlessness. If you see the figure in the figure, the astronaut has no weight because he is in the condition of free fall. Means it is not reacted by any reactional force. We measure our weight because we get some reactional force. on the from the sorry reactional force in the absence of reactional force we will not get our weight so a reactional force always uh, acts on us normal reactional force to measure while measuring weight the condition for weightlessness obviously free fall no reactional force acts so uh, weightlessness uh, free fall uh means weight zero center of earth g zero so weight zero during the evolution of earth as we have discussed in the condition of free fall so no weight differences between free fall and weightlessness weightlessness is caused due to free fall so free fall is a cause and weightlessness is the effect okay this is all about the theoretical portion of the chapter gravity and gravitation now you have assignment as usual and you used to do, do so please do this assignment and encourage your friends to do it please first write in your copy and then only do a uh, sorry uh, means you can email it from the site as you know Class ten dot science at the rate l a s dot e d u dot n b. So you know that. So please don't forget and try to submit as soon as possible. Don't take a whole week. Okay. So this much for today. be safe be healthy and take care of your health thank you and a great day ahead okay